Hello everyone. Welcome to case forex analysis for today. All right. So, today is the 30th of May 2020 on Saturday. So, I hope you're having a great a weekend today. So, as the title says, I will talk about single span B of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo today. Um, just to uh, you know do some uh, recap and also that uh, you know uh, make sure that we're in the same page about single span B because uh, I value single span B a lot in Ichimoku lines and in order to uh, capture the trend and this is very important so I thought it might be uh, a very uh, you know important to um, you know talk about single span B today right so that uh, we know that uh, whether the market is on the trend or not by looking at single span B and also I will talk about the essence of the single span B too so if you already like this topic already please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell bell button so that you get notified as I keep doing this like this kind of lives or upload a video every day okay so let's get started and before I talk about anything today in live uh, just a disclaimer uh, all these knowledge are in are basic basically based on my own experience so uh, when you take trades please do uh, at your own risks right because we're not here to I'm not here to take res responsibility of your trades and you're here to re take resp responsibility on your own trades all right so let's get started today and let me talk about single span B today as one of the very important components of Ichimoku Kin Kohyo today and also I run the Ichimoku community like uh, when you come to my website right uh, uh, yeah on this one forex-k.com and if you click on services and if you click on the Ichimoku community uh, you see all these perks to join the Ichimoku community so <clears throat> If you want to know more about Ichimoku community and also about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo by itself, um, actually you can uh, join on my Ichimoku community. All right, so you you have actually all these perks, right? When you join, and actually I'm adding more and more perks to it. So um, you actually, uh, you know, if you're interested, you can participate on that. Actually, this is a monthly subscription by YouTube, so. If you see the join button YouTube, that's where you can join. All right, so let's talk about single span B today. Okay, so let me see. All right, I see uh, lots of people joining on this uh, today's live too. So thank you, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. Good to see. You. All right, and I see some Japanese for us here too. So very nice to see you too. All right, good to see you. Good to see. You. All right, everyone. So now that the uh, the the end of the month, right? This is actually the end of the May, and we are actually going into July. So tomorrow's live, um, tomorrow's uh, forex forecast, I will talk about the monthly chart and weekly chart because uh, this is uh, this is a month end. So usually I look at the monthly chart and also weekly chart too, uh, whenever it's towards the month end. <clears throat> But right when you if you when you analyze when you analyze markets based on the monthly chart, weekly chart, or daily chart, single span B is very important to look at whether it's moving up or flat, so that we know exactly the market is in the in the market it, m the market is in the trend in the long term or not. So let's just focus on the, the single span B today. Okay, so I will uh, switch around like a uh, different pairs uh, today and I will show you uh, I will show you a couple of different examples on pairs and see how the single span B has been moving right now and how we actually uh, know about the market based on that single span B all right so we just pick up the uh, day chart today so let me start from euro USD and let me just pick up the daily chart <clears throat> all right so here is the uh, Euro USD, and it's a daily chart. So just focus on the single span B, all right? So just focus on the single span B, 
And right now, Senko Span B is actually the lower part of this uh, bullish, bullish uh, cloud, Kumo cloud. Uh, when there is a bearish Kumo, Senko Span B is actually the upper part. But uh, when you see the bullish Kumo, Senko Span B is actually the lower part of the Kumo. So when you see the Senko Span B right now, which is at this lower part of the Kumo right now, uh, what would you see, right? Uh, where is the angle? W what is the angle of this Senko Span B currently on this uh, Euro USD daily chart? Is it moving up or down or flat? All right, so let me just uh, ask you a uh, basic question first, so that we are, so that uh, you know, to to make sure that we're on the same page here. So just focus on single span B today, and is it moving up or down or flat? Based on this daily chart of Euro USD. All right, so let me just wait for your comments, and in the meantime, um, let's see who's here. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. All right, very nice to see you. Aurelio, how to do, John? Muhammad, Arukari, King, John, thanks for joining everyone. All right, Jeroen, Anna, uh, Lawrence, Nico, Thanapol, Mr. Fernandez, S. Johan, Fabio. Good to see you, Walan, Sadi here. Uh, Try, Green, and Brian, City Forex, thanks for joining everyone. Muhammad, Azdurbal, David, Martin, comments here now. It twisted up, flat, 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 flat. All right. Single spine is flat, right? It's flat, flat, right, right. So actually, this is flat, right? Basically, this is flat. So right now, single span B is currently flat. So we look at the lower part of the Kumo. And this is flat right now, okay? Oh, is it freezing right now? Oh, network program frozen? Okay, let me just check the connection right now. Um, hold on, let me just make sure that uh, everything is all right in, on my side. All right, and it looks like it's okay. Looks like it's been okay on my side. Now it's good, okay. Looks like it's recovering right now. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, YouTube has been quite unstable these days, so yeah, please let me know when it, whenever it freezes, all right? So yeah, right now single span B is flat, right? Single span B is actually the lower part of this Kuma right now, and this is quite small, I mean very tiny, so it might be difficult to capture it, but technically this is flat. Single span B is flat on this daily chart, and my next question is that the uh, what is the single span B calculation, right? How is it calculated? All right, how is it calculated the single span B? All right, actually, you don't have to like copy and paste all your comments again, right? You can just type one comment and that should be fine. Okay, so what is the calculation of the single span B here? Can you? Tell me the answer. If you can remember, what's what's the calculation of the single span B? <clears throat> so, single span B is sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes flat. But uh, what is the calculation of single span B? So today I'm actually not really introducing my KTS, my uh, trading strategy, but I am pretty much focusing on Ichimoku Kinkou Hyo, and I wanted to understand fully about Ichimoku Kinkou Hyo, especially Senko Span B today, and that's why um, I am actually talking about that topic. <clears throat> okay, so sometimes I introduce my own strategy, KTS, and sometimes I only talk about Ichimoku. So today is basically the Ichimoku lecture. So I will just focus on the uh, the Ichimoku line today, and how you can actually look at the market based on those lines. So single span B. All right, I start to see a couple of comments here. Right, the medium of twenty high and low. All right, twenty high and low, twenty 
candles forward, all right? 20, oh, 52, sorry, 52 highs and lows, all right? 52 candles forwards, all right? Flat, midpoint for the last 52 highs and lows, right, right. That's true, that's true. Can we define that as uptrend? No, we can't really define it as uptrend. We cannot, we cannot. Yeah, because um, the Kumo just twisted to the upside, but actually this is not really the uptrend yet, because the Kumo itself is flat. So we cannot really, uh, you know, capture as this uh, as this is uptrend yet, all right? <clears throat> so, all right, average price of 50 today, so all right? Average price, okay, average price forwarded to 26 periods, right? 52 candles forward, average price of the last 52 candles, all right, all right, okay. Okay, so single span B is actually, it takes the, the recent high, first of all, it takes the recent high and the low, the highest and lo the lowest price for the last 52 candles, right? So if I count from the current Kumo and going backwards, 52 candles will be here, right here. This is exactly where the 52 bars backwards, right? So single span B is actually calculated from this price right now. So let me put the vertical line right here. And it takes the lowest price and the highest price. So it takes the lowest price right here, and also the highest price right here. And the single span B is actually in the mid price right now, and it's being flat right now. Oh, sorry, this is actually 26, so sorry. Uh, from the current candlestick, let me take it back, sorry. Let me take it back, and from current candlestick, it should be going back uh, 20, 25, uh, sorry, 52 candles backwards, sorry about that. So from the current candlestick, it should be go back uh, 52 candles in the back. So it's going to be uh, on this candlestick, sorry about that. Yeah, so this is the 52 bars backwards. So currently, the single span B is actually taking for the last 52 bars from the current candlestick. So it's taking this current, current, uh, this, uh, current uh, this, uh, candlestick in the back. So it takes the lowest price, the lowest price here, and also the highest price right here. And it's in the mid price, right? So this is right in between the mid price, between the highest and also the, from the lowest. It's exactly in between. It's exactly in 50% level. And it's shifted 26 forward. So it's shifted 26 candles forwarded. Okay, does that make sense everyone? Does that make sense? So single span B is calculated over a 52 periods while single span A is based on Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, right, right. So yeah, single span B is actually taking the highest price and the lowest price for the last 52 bars from the current candlestick and it's shifting 26 forwarded. Right, so it's just like Fibonacci, yeah, it's like a Fibonacci retracement, like 50% retracement level. But, uh, and it's shifted 26 forwarded only. Okay. So my next, ne my next question, right? My next question is, um, what makes Senko Span B to move up in this kind of situation? What makes Senko Span B to move up? So let me go step by step here, right? So what makes Senko Span B to go up in this case? Right, we don't have to think about going down, right, for now. Just think about going up, single span B, right? Right now, single span B is flat, as you can see it. But what, what makes single span B to go upwards? In what condition uh, will it go up, is my question. 
So actually there are two conditions that makes the Senko span B to go up. So what are these two conditions? Is my next question. Alright, so can we calculate that in a three days time it will start going up? Yeah, so you got the answer. <laughs> you got one of the answers, right David? Right, right. So what makes the Senko span B to go up based on two conditions? The new candle? Right, the new candle might uh, make the Senko span B up but uh, more precisely, more precisely in what condition? A new 52 days high, right? New high, right? New high, exactly, exactly. If it to be upper, right, right. Current price breaks the recent high, yep. When price breaks the resistance, yep. More higher than highs and higher lows, right, right. Higher new candles, a new high, right. Hi, Sekar, thanks for joining. Right, right. So yeah, that's right, that's right. So one condition would be when there is a renewal of the recent high, even upper this way, that will make the Senko Span B to move up. Because in that case, right, let's say if the new price, new high will be like in this price level. And, and then in that case, the 50% level will raise up a little bit, right? The 50% 50 50, um, 50 level, for the last 52 bars will be raised up a little bit and that will make Senko Span B to move upwards a little bit. Okay, so that's one condition. That's one condition. And what will be the other condition? So this is one. Renewal of the recent high upwards will be one answer. So what will be the second, uh, second scenario or second uh, condition? that you can think of. New high, uh, two low points, it's more than 52 days ago. All right, all right. Okay. New highs. All right. Higher new candles when price changes time, go on, all right. Renew recent low or high. Right, right, so I uh, hear some of your, uh, some of the answers for the second question, right? Recent price, new high, right? New high is one of the conditions. If the price breaks the highest, yeah, that will be the one. Higher highs, right? Higher high and higher low, right, right, right. Yeah, new higher low, exactly, exactly. So yeah, new higher low, right? New higher low. So, uh, so that means, right, that means that the, um, when there is a new high, it will make the Senko Span B to move up. And also if there is a um, new higher low to this level, it will also make this Senko Span B to move up, right? Because right now, uh, in this condition, if I take the Fibonacci from this recent low, I mean the lowest price for the last 52 bars, to the highest price for the, uh, for the last 52 bars, it's going to be exactly at this price level. Hold on, let me do it precise a little bit. All right, for some reason this is fixed, so let me just delete this one once and let me take the Fibonacci again. So if, if you take the recent low to the recent high, in 50% level is exactly here. And that's why this is where the Senko Span B is right now. But let's say if there is a renewal of the recent high. So in this con in this condition, the renewal of the recent high is going to be like here. Let's say if the high is going to be from here to here, then that will make the 50% level to move up slightly and that will actually make the Senko Span P to move up, right? And that's one condition. And the other condition will be if there is a renewal of the recent low, which will be here, right? In this price level, the lowest price on this one will be 
the lowest price for the last 52 candles and but let's say if the highs remain the same let's say if the high remains same in this price level and in that case right still the 50% level will be slightly go up I mean it's from here to here it's gonna go up a little bit so the renewal of the recent low will also make the single span B to move upwards too okay are we on the same page now all right let me know if you have any questions about this. So basically there are two conditions, right? There are two conditions. Either the renewal of the recent high uppers that will make Senko Span B to move up and also the renewal of the recent low to the high that will also make the Senko Span B to move up while the high, highest price remains the same. All right. So these are two conditions, right? These are two conditions that will make this uh, single span B to move up. And this is very important. This is a very important concept in Ichimoku because this is the definition of the trend in Ichimoku. And actually, this is not all about uh, single span B. Actually, uh, when you look at single span A or Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, uh, these are old, what we call Hane line in Japanese. What we call Hane line in Japanese. So, uh, basically, right, except for Chikou span, because Chikou span is just shifted 26 backwards, but all the other four lines are basically moving up and down depending on the renewal of the recent high upwards or uh, the renewal of the recent low upwards or vice versa. And that will make all these lines move up and down. All right. So in that sense, right? In that sense, uh, the renewal of the recent high. I mean, the breakout, right? What we call breakout, is very important to be confident to uh, to rely on this these lines angles. And also, even if you don't see any breakouts, uh, if there is a renewal of the recent low. Uh, the lowest price to renew a little bit higher the you know higher lows will be another important signals in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo does that make sense because eventually that will make these lines these Hane lines to move up or down and that's the essence of these Hane lines I mean Senko Span A, B and Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen Okay, and t actually Senko Span B takes the last 52 candles in the back and shift 26 forward. And 52 is actually one of the Kihon Suchi numbers, like a, you know, like a magic number, if you will. Like, uh, you know, there is a 52 period, the cycle uh, in Ichimoku is very important, 50, 52. So uh, Gochi Hosoda took that 52 number, 52 candles in the past and that will actually identify the long-term market momentum or the trend and actually this same span b right is going to be the lower part of the kumo while it's moving up and the higher part right the upper part of the kumo while it's moving down and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Tenko span B here. So I just wanted to show you the concept of Senko span B. What will make Senko span B to move up and down? Does that make sense, everyone? So far, so far, so good. All right. Again, if you have any questions, please write, type those questions on this chat box or. If you're watching this archive, please uh, type your question on this comment box so that I can reply. So, um, some people claim that uh, you know uh, this Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Senko Span, A and B are just like moving average, but actually they are not. They are totally different from moving average, and you see why now, right? Because Ichimoku only 
Ichimoku Kinko here, right? These four lines are only interested in the recent high renewal of the recent low renewal up or downwards. And that that's actually what makes these lines move up or down, except for Chikou Span. All right. So it's totally different from moving average. And that's why sometimes you see these lines become completely flat. So whenever you see these lines, right, so for example, in this case, like single span B being completely flat, like in this whole time, it's being flat, right? And that's because the recent high and the recent low has been the same, has been exactly on the same price level. And that's why the line became horizontal completely. And that's actually what makes Ichimoku very unique here. Because in moving average, it goes up and down, it fluctuates, right? Uh, because it takes the close price for the past certain uh, period of time in moving average. But Ichimoku takes also for the last uh, certain uh, period of time but because it looks at the highest price and the lowest price, sometimes it goes completely flat. And when you see, whenever I see these lines to be flat, right, it's in the range and there is no direction in the market, like I say, in KTS. Because that's what, uh, that's what uh, you know, these lines identify. So single span B is actually identifying the long-term market momentum, right? And also Kijun Sen captured the mid-term of the market momentum, and the uh, Tenkan Sen captured the short-term market momentum. All right. I'm in Tokyo. I'm in Tokyo. If this calculation works only for daily time frame, um, actually it can work in any time frames. But I don't recommend you to use Ichimoku in like uh, smaller time frames, like uh, one minute, because uh, there are so many noises in in the market. So I recommend you to start look at and apply these theories in daily chart first. And then uh, once you get used to it, you can actually switch around the time frames. All right. Right. So it doesn't matter which time frame you look at, actually. Um, so this calculation works in any time frames. Yeah. In terms of the calculations, it works in any time frames. Yeah, so this is a daily chart, but if I switch to like a, for example, like one hour chart, right again, this single span B takes the recent highest and the lowest price at that time, and it captured the mid price. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which time frame you look at. All right. Kihon Suchi is Kihon Suchi comes from a uh, lunar diary, a diary or a uh, uh, ready magic. Actually, Kihon Suchi numbers are the numbers that Gochi Hosoda found by himself, uh, based on his own experience. So, yeah, that's basic, basically based on his own statistics. Yeah, 52, 26, and nine are the Kihon Suchi numbers. The basic basic Kihon Suchi numbers. And there are variations to it, right? There are like 17 and 33, 42, uh, things like that. And these are the variations. But 9 and 26 and 52 are the, you know, the basic Kihon Suchi numbers. All right. Understood all right? All right. I was wondering, when you traded with uh, one-third minute charts, did you find Ichimoku lagging? Um, I don't really take trades on like a 30 seconds charts. The lowest time frame that I look at is 
the five minute charts. So I don't look at really like a 30 seconds charts. Yeah. Yesterday I traded using only lagging span. It gave me a good result. All right. So Chikou span works too. Chikou span works. Uh, support, resistance, or breakout will be very good for Chikou span. Yeah. All right. Hi, skills. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right. Meaning that the current price action is in flat. Yeah. So, right. Coming back to this daily chart right now. Right, coming back to this daily chart, and what we can see based on the single span B right now is because this is flat, right? Uh, the price might go up, and but it might go downwards, and we never know which way it's gonna go in the long term. In the long term, okay. But in the mid term, the Kijun Sen is going up, so this is uptrend, and in short term, this is this Tenkan Sen is going up, so this is uptrend in short term too. But in the long term, this is flat. So there is no direction in long term based on this daily chart. So when I when I mention about the terms, this is also different from the time frames. So I don't want you to confuse uh, in this part too. So terms actually is different from the time frames, basically. Because back in those days when Ichimoku was created, uh, you know, there was no PC so at that time, so everything was handwritten, and uh, Goichi Hosoda was only looking at the daily charts and capturing the, uh, you know, the market situations, right? He was looking at daily chart, weekly chart, sometimes he looks at the monthly chart, but um, yeah, uh, he wasn't really looking at like uh, these smaller time frames like we do right now, because everything was handwritten, and Ichimoku was originally created. Uh, to capture the market momentum in at a glance, right? Ichimoku, at a glance, uh, on these uh, short term, mid term, and long term market momentum. So, just by picking up this daily chart, we already know that in short term, because Tenkan Sen is moving up, right? And this is the uptrend. And in a mid term, because Kijun Sen is moving up, this is uptrend in midterm, but in long term, this is horizontal. So, and that's what uh, these Hane lines do, basically. So that's why I wanted to pick up the daily chart only to, uh, to, uh, to show you exactly how the single span B is moving right now. Okay, so let's pick up this one, right? Let's take a look at the Euro GBP daily chart as of now. And right now, single span B is going down, right? Uh, when there is a bearish trend, bearish Kumo, single span B is actually the upper part. So right now, when you look at this part right now, right, single span B is going down. So in short term, this is downtrend, right? This is downtrend. So uh, the single span B used to take this highest price and the lowest price here, right? But now the market situation is changing, right? Now it's taking this, the second low here, and that's what uh, this uh, what makes making this single span B to moving downwards in this case. Okay, so let me uh, pick up another pair. So this is the uh, Euro G, uh, Euro JPY right now. And a single span B in this case has been completely flat, right? It's been completely flat, and usually when I see the single span B being flat, uh, and also Kumo itself has been flat right now, right? Single span A, right? Single span A is retracing backwards, and single span B is flat, and this is usually when I don't take trades based on the daily chart, because it's retracing, right? The market was going down, but now it's retracing backwards. But in the long term, this is flat, Senkosman B is flat, so there is no trend right now.
Okay, so, but you know, single span B angle is very important. Because whenever you see single span B moving down, right, in this case moving down, like right here too, the single span B has been sloping down. And when you see single span B has been moving down while the Kumo is moving down overall, right, the price should be going down this way, right? The price was going down this way. So single span B angle is very important. And whenever single span B goes flat, basically there is no trend in the market, in the long term, in the long term. Okay, single span B long term market momentum, Kijun Sen mid term market momentum, Tenkan Sen short term market momentum. Is that right? Yes, exactly right, Muhammad. That's exactly right. You got the idea here. You got the idea. Sometimes Kuro cross, uh, Kumo cross is a uh, uh, Kumo cross seen with only single span A move up, but single span B flat. Is this Kumo cross also significant? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or well, sometimes, not the sometimes, but always, always when there is a Kumo twist, um, single span B will be either, right, so when, when the Kumo is moving up, single span B will be either flat or upwards. In this case, single span B was moving up and Kumo twisted here. And right now, single span B is moving flat and single span A is twisting and that will make the Kumo twist upwards next time so yeah so um, when you whenever you see Kumo to be moving up and when you see single span B is moving upwards this way that will be a great confirmation for its uptrend continuous uptrend and in contrast when Kumo is moving down and when whenever you see single span B is moving down this way right this is a great confirmation for its bearish trend it's a it's a downtrend but whenever kumo is being flat that means that the market is it's consolidating in the long term it's been going up and down in consolidation in the range in the long term all right does that make sense everyone So uh, this is very important. This is a very important concept about Ichimoku. And also in terms of the Hanen line, uh, this is important. All right, Fibonacci retracement settings. Uh, I already showed it to you uh, on the past live in KTS. So you can look at the past live and you can find out my setting of that uh, Fibonacci retracement and expansion. So is Euro JPY changing to uptrend? Uh, we're not sure yet, right? And based on Ichimoku, we're not sure. Uh, the Kumo looks to be twisting to the up Kumo right now, but uh, we never know if this is going to be the uptrend or not, because Senkospan B is currently flat, right? Senkospan B is currently flat, so we cannot really conclude if this is going to be the app Kumo or not. All right. So I hope you got the idea of the single span B and also what makes single span B to move up or down in terms of the highest price and also the lowest price for the last 52 bars. Okay, so I guess I will end the live for now because I will be switching to the membership live afterwards. But once again, thank you for joining everyone on this live today. Um, I really appreciate your uh, support, continued support, and also uh, your participation as always. So, uh, so basically, I teach more and more deeper knowledge about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo by itself within the Ichimoku community that I run, which is uh, done through the YouTube uh, YouTube join button, YouTube platform. So uh, if you're interested more about Ichimoku Kin Kohyo, you can always join on my Ichimoku community. Uh, it's a subscribe monthly subscription, 
and you see all the details when you come to this page. Actually, the link is on the below description, so you can click on that and you can see the details. And if you're interested, you can you know, join this uh, Ichimoku community to get more, more knowledge. So, I will switch to the membership for now. But again, thank you for uh, joining everyone. And today it's a Saturday, right? Today's Saturday. Japan is so nice. Uh, it's uh, it's been quite sunny today. Uh, there's no rains, so yeah. Uh, I hope you're having a great, great weekend. Oh yeah, and also tomorrow, tomorrow uh, I will be doing the Ichimoku Forex forecast tomorrow, but it's going to be happening at uh, 7 p.m. in Japan. Tomorrow's live is going to be happening 7 p.m. in Japan. Instead of uh, 20, I mean, instead of uh, 11 p.m. as we do today. So, if you wish to join tomorrow's public live about my Ichimoku Forex forecast, it's gonna happen at 7 p.m. JST, Japanese Standard Time. So, and also I put, uh, I already put the reminder for that. So, yeah, please uh, be careful, right? Because uh, tomorrow's live is gonna be happening at uh, 11 p.m. JST. It's gonna be happening 7 p.m. JST instead. So I hope to see you on the tomorrow's live or you know sometimes in the future. All right. So everyone, stay gold. Have a great weekend and stay healthy. All right. So bye for now. And for those who are members, I will see you on the membership live. So stay gold. Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.